want to know something crazy? In the NFL, I don't think there's a topic where everyone is in agreement. Debates, takes, social media, fans. I have never seen everyone come together and agree on anything. Until a few days ago. All thanks to this man. Like the Avengers to destroy Thanos, NFL players, former players, pundits, and even fans have all assembled to tell this guy he's wrong. The worst part? He might be right. So we, I wow. could take 30 players right now in the NBA and throw them in the NFL. You cannot uh, take 30 NFL players and put them in the NBA. Whoa. Oh, yeah. It's not fairly common when the two most popular sports in the United States collide on a singular topic. But a few days ago, the two sports would have a standoff all thanks to one little interview that was blown completely out of proportion. So, what better opportunity for me to blow it even more out of proportion? You see this guy right here? This is Austin Rivers. Austin, who probably has one of the best high school mixtapes ever, played college basketball at Duke University before being drafted 10th overall in the 2012 NBA Draft. He would go on to make a name for himself in the NBA with his competitive play and was a valuable asset to teams like the LA Clippers and the Minnesota Timberwolves. Well, he was sitting on the bench and that's his three. Oh, Austin Rivers flies to the rim. Rivers had some strong words about NBA players. Stirring up the pot with his comments on the Pat McAfee show, positioning that it was much easier to make it as a professional athlete in the NFL than the NBA. It's slowly coming our way, though. I can already see it. You're getting more into it. Look at you. You're talking about the Cavs today. You're, you're, you're stretching out. we got to get you outside of that football lane, man, where the guaranteed contracts are, where the best athletes in the world are. That's us. We, I can take 30 players right now in the NBA and throw them in the NFL. You cannot take 30 NFL players and put them in the NBA. Whoa. Oh, yeah, Whoa. It's because you're only allowed five on the court. Let's just let's all relax. It's because you get a break every play. All you got to do is catch the ball and run north or south. Listen, Rivers' comment was met with disdain from most of the NFL community, but his stance is not particularly a new one. The debate has been made many times before. The two sports require many different skill sets. So it's a bit silly to argue, but what's not up for debate is that it's extremely hard to even become a professional at all. To become a professional athlete is no small feat, but every young athlete's dream is to make it to the pros. And as much as we hear about how rare it is to actually make it that far, this doesn't stop us from chasing that dream. But when people say your odds are slim, they're not lying. To make the NBA, you have a 0.03% chance. This means that out of 156,000 male high school senior basketball players, only 44 will be drafted in the NBA. And for the NFL, just 1.6% of college players will make a roster in the league. So just off percentage alone, it's more difficult to make the NBA than it is the NFL. But other factors play a part as well. First, there are way less jobs available given that there are fewer NBA teams and far less roster spots. Second, NBA players are paid better pushing two sport athletes into basketball if they can make it there. And third, NBA careers are generally longer, leading to a more overall career earning. For instance, players like Draymond Green and more recently Anthony Edwards, who by the way is killing it in the playoffs right now. Put up a three. Bullseye. They both were two sport athletes. Draymond Green playing for Michigan State, despite not being very good. <laughs> He's a little excited. He's a little excited out there. <laughs> and Anthony Edwards, who admittedly said football was and is his first love, he played for the Atlanta Vikings on offense and defense. Even the obvious, LeBron, at six foot nine, 250 pounds, he could easily play tight end. He really delivered in his high school days, becoming a two-time All Ohio selection after switching his position from quarterback to wide receiver and totaling 99 catches, 1,912 receiving yards, and 27 touchdowns in those two years he played. But despite all of the recent discourse, there have been Hall of Famer NFL players who were two-sport athletes that could have easily played in the NBA, but decided to take their talents to the league. I mean, Antonio Gates is one of the poster children for college basketball players who have successfully made the transition to the NFL. After leading Kent State to the Elite Eight in 2002, and averaging 20 points per game a season after that, Gates quickly became the NFL's premier tight end, earning first-team All-Pro honors in his second, third, and fourth seasons in the league. Jimmy Graham is another one. He appeared in 120 games for Miami, and he started one-third of them as a forward. The Canes made the NCAA tournament during Graham's junior season as a number seven seed, 
Graham had 9.7 rebounds in Miami's first round win over St. Mary's before the team lost to Texas in the second round. And you can't forget about Julius Peppers. UNC went 22-14 in 2000, peaking at number two in the AP Top 25 before making the Final Four as a number eight seed. In the following season, the Tar Heels were 26-7, climbing to the top spot in the poll and earning a number two seed. As a sophomore, Peppers was North Carolina's fifth leading scorer and rebounder. However, transitioning from football to basketball requires more than just physical prowess. It requires a mental adjustment as well, adapting to the fast pace and strategic elements of the game. On the flip side, could 30 NBA players make it to the NFL? Right now, I get it. Basketball players feel like they can play football. And we always felt like football players play basketball. So I get what he's trying to say, but to make it seem like it's that easy, he knows it's not. While the physical demands of football are undeniable, the skill set required for success on the gridiron is vastly different from that of basketball. I mean, if you look at the NBA's current rosters, I don't know about 30, but I could definitely see a few who could make an impact in today's NFL. So the question of whether NFL players could play in the NBA and vice versa remains largely hypothetical. While there are certainly athletes with the physical attributes to excel in both sports, the unique skill sets and demands of each game present significant challenges to any potential crossover. As us fans continue to weigh in on the discussion, one thing remains clear. Austin Rivers' assertion has reignited a spirited debate that will continue to captivate sports enthusiasts for years to come.